part three. See, another Jewish holiday on the 10th. They celebrate the, the, um, the exodus out of Egypt. Interesting. So we have another Hebrew re uh, reference to the leaving out of Egypt. I wonder what's going to make everybody have to leave Egypt. Okay. You could jump ship now or you can wait until everybody's trying to jump ship. It's going to... When, when Israelites left Egypt, did they leave the country? Did they leave the whole place they was in or did they leave Egypt and go to a land, you know? So, you know? You kind of know? Like the way they say it, uh, it's over there, how far did they, how far did they leave? Because you know Egypt and Israel is right next to each other, right? So, that means they're, we're in Egypt and we leave Egypt to go back home. On the same fucking continent, you dumb fucking assholes. What's going on is exactly what my father said in the Bible. Sound the fucking horns. He said, um, one day I'm going to make all the you nations go home. You're all going home. Everyone's got to go back to their place. Why? So I can judge you. And then you can stop, you know, harassing my people because you won't. You'll, you'll never stop. They're nothing but niggers. So we're going to allow... The, uh, you know, the Egypt plagues out, and when it starts fucking everybody up except them, then everybody will know my people are chosen, because how come they don't get sick, but everybody else does? How come the Lord is attacking everybody? How come? Because they worship something that's not the most high, and my father said, if you do that, he'll crush you one day. It's funny that, um... All this shit's going on in the world, but everybody swears they have the right person they're looking up to. How come you're not calling on that person and then saying, could you please stop attacking us? Please. Oh, yeah, because that person doesn't have control over my father. And my father said, that's my little nigga. And are you out of your fucking mind? What the fuck can he do for you? I'm the one. I'm doing this to you. So, you know, instead of going to the lawyer, you're supposed to go to the judge and say, Judge, can you please lighten the sentence? But nah, I'm just a dumb guy. I'm just a black dumb nigger. It'd be harder for you to find a life jacket and a lifeboat if you leave with everybody else. Okay. There we go. Go watch the movie... Transcendence or Transcendence with Johnny Depp and then go look up Smart Dust. That's all I can say about that. You're going to have to think in your mind because I know there's certain things you can and you can't. So you go look that movie up. You go watch that movie and then you go look up what Smart Dust is. I, I, there's no reason that you should feel like you can't come on the camera. It's, you're all beautiful and wonderful. I think a lot of... Yeah, skip. Give me a second. Is Mariah? Now we jump on to, um... Most of the rappers you really think are good, they just stole and redid other niggas' shit. See, this is why I call myself Jack Ripper, because that's how I got started. And because I developed that skill, I get to see what rappers do things because, you know, I remember certain lines. And then when I see you steal shit, I start realizing like, oh, wow, you're not as good as you really think you are. And you're using certain lines and certain things because that's the most popular thing that caught on for everybody with that guy. So you go and use those same phrases in different songs and different things because you know it already has that hypnotic trance into the fans of that person. And now they're going to go to you. See, I, I, I look stupid. I sound stupid. But I'm, I'm not. Let me prove it. Let's prove it. What do you say? It changed everything. What do you say? Dudes ain't watching me, but I literally just dropped the fucking long kiss can they break down. And now, you know, they're not watching me. What I mean. The spirit of, you know, catching you niggas is out here. Yous are almost done.
Because all his major classics are all fucking stolen lines from Biggie. And there's nothing wrong with showing respect to a man. Like, Jay-Z already talked about why he does that. He said, that was my big brother. Big, I knew him in real life. You niggas didn't. And I'm taking over the reins like Batman and Robin. So, you know, fuck you. I do whatever I want. You know? So, it's either that or whatever, you know? I can't hate on that. Bitches and diamond rings. I'm just not going to give you as much as respect as you, you know, you want. Because you don't deserve it. You didn't make up things your own. You threw your stuff onto another man's stuff. And then you made your image with it. Which is nothing wrong with that. That's what men gotta do. But you know. You know a lot of people just don't believe that. So you have a false rep you have a false like representation of yourself. This is the last call for your hands to grab the wheel. So some people, they would say he was cycling lines to pay homage to Biggie. But then to some people, they're going to say, nah, he biting. And then you got the people in the middle that's going to be like, bro, I get it. He over here paying homage, but he not saying, he not a... Uh, He's not openly saying, I'm doing this, I took this, and I'm innovate, you know? Like he, what he did to uh, Nas. You made it a hot line, I made it a hot song. Oh, so that's a special special ability to hear other rappers rap. They, he hears their dope line, and he goes, well, now I want to make a song like that. The, I can't say that, I can't hate on a nigga, but at the same time, like I said, I can't give you all the respect that you, you know, because those men made those things up maybe by themselves, or are we going to find out that all of you niggas have been stealing lines and different things from older generations, and they stole it from them, and they stole it from them, and they stole it from them, and yeah, that's what we're going to find out, that everyone's really a fucking thief, and that nothing's new under the sun, like my father said. He not using a line, and then turning around and dropping Biggie name in there to give credit to nope. Biggie name. Instead, he'll say things like, I think I'm better than Biggie. And I guess if we're going to get on Drake's ass, we got to get on Jay's ass, too. Yep. In this sense, I'm not going to take all his art away. Nope. Some of his art, he be saying certain shit. Some dude. dope shit. He be saying certain things. Certain things that Jay do that, you know, nobody was doing. So, we can't take that away. Like, uh, what's one of his dope songs that I don't know if anybody did before him? The song 222, 22, where he raps about two, uh, 22 times. And it's real funny that I've been like, you know, screaming that number and it means a whole lot of things. It's funny that he named his other album, the 444 album. And, you know, it's funny, you know, 2-2 two, two, and then double that would be 4-4, four, four, you know. So it seems like Jay-Z does numerology or maybe it's, you know, witchcraft. I don't know. All I do know is a lot of things seem similar. And I'm not accusing this man of anything with, when it comes to that stuff. I'm saying a lot of dudes been biting lines for years, and these are your motherfucking leaders, bro. And I'm Killmonger, and I want to take some heads. This is why I'm not afraid of no nigga that's up there, because I know when I get your ass in the ring, you going to have to, I'm going I'm to do you in a way where we're going to see that you're not better than me. Because I'm going to rap a certain way, and I'm going to predict what you're going to do, because you just can't do anything except talk a certain way. So all love, 